My name is Richard Barber. Because I lived here, uh, this is where I grew up, I wanted my kids to grow up here, uh, but also um, I lived around the United States <clears throat> and was able to kind of experience a lot of different communities and of all the communities I lived in, I really thought Vermont was probably the best place to raise a family. I think Vermont's kind of on the leading edge of managing its environmental quality. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Act 250, but it's a, it's a permitting process that reviews um, uh, development, construction, uh, to make sure that it doesn't have a negative impact on the environment. Um, I think that's been very effective. It, the, the downside of it is that it does suppress growth and does have a little bit of an economic um, uh, damper, but I think the, the benefit is is that we have been able to manage Vermont. You see, we, the state of Vermont, has been able to manage its environment very effectively, and I think that uh, all it takes is to drive through New York, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and then Vermont, and you can see the benefit that uh, uh, that regulation has had. I think Vermonters, by and large, uh, the the aggregate is uh, most people are very sensitive to the environment, they want to protect it, uh, they consider it a, a valuable collective natural resource. So I think Vermont is, is kind of leading edge when it comes to environmentalism. Mm -hmm. I know that there's a, a gas pipeline, uh, I think it's a natural gas pipeline that they want to run under the lake uh, in order to put natural gas at the uh, Ticonderoga paper plant. Mm -hmm. but I think natural gas is, is probably clean of, a, uh, of an energy source uh, that we have right now to to power a power plant, uh, but I do think that at some point um, uh, that we have to try to figure out more sustainable um, sources of energy. Uh, they're going to be hard to come by because natural gas and petroleum is so abundant and so energy dense. It's going to be hard to replace. But I do think that's kind of the pressing question of the 21st, 22nd century. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Animal Science Program. It's embedded in the uh, curriculum here at Missisquoi Valley Union High School. Uh, we raise animals uh, both to instruct students on uh, all aspects of raising and caring for animals, but also uh, we produce meat for sale in the community and for uh, sale in our hot lunch program. So one of the things we want kids to understand, both the ag science students and all the students, is that food comes from someplace. Uh, we want them to understand um, how it's produced, uh, where it's produced, uh, what it takes to get here, uh, and what environmental implications their food choices have on um, the uh, environment that we live in. So I'm going to walk you through the barn here and take a look at what we have and uh, kind of explain just small simple operations but give you an idea. we have is, a, is a, a, a small livestock farm that we raise animals in. Now, we can raise any animals that we want here, but we've chosen to raise animals that we can market uh, locally and that can be used in the hot lunch program. So we raise pigs and we raise beef cattle. Now, one of the key, the key issues about sustainability is we're always looking for products, that, for anything that is a byproduct of a um, larger manufacturing process or a larger agricultural process that would norm normally kind of be considered um, a waste product and we try to use that as the first uh, step in another value added process that's part of our sustainability um, ethic. So uh, we live in an area that has um, a very active uh, dairy uh, industry and one of the byproducts of the dairy industry is bull calves. Uh, approximately 50% of all calves that are born in a dairy operation are bulls uh, and they need to be gotten rid of. Typically they go into a veal operation. We're able to pull them here, raise them uh, for a year, a year and a half and sell them uh, as beef. Uh, and we do that, uh, we, we create our markets, the hot lunch program uh, and the local meat market. Uh, we serve that uh, market by using a byproduct of the of the dairy industry. So if you want, we can go out here and take a look at our actual livestock.